Alright, welcome back everybody. We are now officially on the very best streak I've ever had at win 67. We're playing on Eden. We got active contrition to start. That's pretty wonderful. Here's the seed for those Kuru's. We, um, we got good speed, good tears thanks to active contrition. I damage that's just where I'd like it to be on the first floor. And a good shot speed and good range. So we're going to keep on rolling here. And hmm, we'll pay our one bomb to get this mystery item. I'm feeling lucky. Technology, a wonderful item. Very synergy based. So what I was checking out before. So last run was IV bag again. So maybe we'll get something a little different this time. I was looking at my unlocks for all my characters. And on the non-tainted side, the only character I have to work on is Jacob and Esau. And on the tainted side, pretty much every character needs work. Which sucks. I looked at it, I thought I had done more, but I realized I gave up because doing... Like, the going through the mom, like the alt path, I hate the alt path. And so I have done that on very few characters. I also haven't fought, um beast on a lot of characters either so unfortunately <clears throat> so there's gonna be a lot of unlocks to do is the truth I went in the shop I don't remember what was in there though oh that'll be why half price will take it oh the candle I think Eden's soul is probably better than the candle just based on a pure kind of guess we might get something better, you never really know. But two free items. Are they random or are they dependent on the item pool? I will check that out when I... Let's see. Okay, item pool. Right, and as I was reading, I took damage, so that's fair. We're going to pop our hero font card now, I guess. No real reason to hold on to it. I'm thinking the, se the secret room might be right here. So, back to unlocks. I was, ooh, I was looking at them all. We have a lot. We have a lot of unlocks to accomplish. So, if when, if and when, because we will, we will lose at some point. Might even be this run. I don't want to speak too soon. When we lose, I'm going to be looking to get unlocks for my characters. And that's going to be a lot of tainted runs, unfortunately. <clears throat> some of the tainted characters are cool, and some of them are just not cool so we'll see how that goes but on the task at hand we've got haunt who we can blow up with barrels in the room because the game is very nice so put them in here for us there we go that wasn't so bad we got an HP up wonderful if we can get a full charge on Eden's soul before the deal with the devil, that'd be wonderful. So we left last floor with six keys and quite a bit of money. So the shop is still going to be valuable on this floor as well. Another Hierophant card. That's wonderful. So technology is really good. It grants us piercing. And piercing is a very, very valuable tier effect in this game. So I feel pretty good about getting that randomly from the blind item room. I will take stopwatch just for a little speed up. And a half price sack is usually a pretty good payout. You know, for three cents you're going to get some consumables. And I'm having trouble isolating where the secret room is. I think it could be right here. It is. Holy Crown as a trinket is great. If we get to the cathedral, we'll get an item room and a shop there. Pretty good trinket to carry with us. And flight on this room would be terrific. So maybe we can get that to work out as well. Hopefully, just hopefully. Not really much else to say right now, I guess. Our tier rate's just really good. It's helping technology do what technology likes to do, which is <laughs> dis destroy enemies. Second secret room feels like it's right here. 
pills, but there's two, two of a kind. Oh, two health up pills. Balls of steel. Holy Moses. Okay. Now we've got health. We've got health. So piercing and infinite range on Ragman is really good. This will be very helpful for this fight. We can shoot him through his head. And actually, we can break the head before it turns into a spider. That's really good. Some runs, you don't get that kind of DPS this early. Uh, tears and Rage Up. That's wonderful. Three Spirit Hearts. Okay. So let's go ahead and use this. Backstabber and Book of Sin. Meh. Lusty Blood's wonderful, though. And is this a Book of the Dead run? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Here's what's up. We've got a lot of HP. There's a curse room. I'm starting to put two and two together here. Uh, we do have Lusty Blood, though, so I don't really want to push my luck. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to push my luck. <laughs> I think I'm going <clears> to. <throat> We've got HP upon HP and Cracked Orb on this floor. Hey, I just saw you recently, my friend. How are you? So much HP means, yeah, we are going to mess around with that curse room. That's that self sacrifice room so there's balls of steel pills there's also health up pills on our floor we're gonna go pretty low is there still spirit hearts in the boss fight I honestly don't know oh my god crown of light hello Yeah, let's face Uriel. See what the chap has for the bloke. See what this bloke has for us here. I think we're going to do the last payout to get the seven soul hearts. If we don't get it, we're going to stop playing. Now, that'll be my finish point. Let's hope we get it. We got the, we got the money. That is not 30 cents. By the way, that's a that's a ripoff. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, we'll do it one more time to see Gabriel. But Crown of Light doubles our damage until we take a hit in a room. That's. I don't think I need to tell you. That's pretty good. Doubling your damage in any sense in this game is pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often with very many items. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, both key pieces are ours. We're good. What a floor! Are you kidding me? What a what a floor! How many items did we get? <clears throat> I couldn't even tell you. Quite a few, though. Quite a few. Yeah. All right. The shop didn't have anything, I don't think. Nothing I wanted. It'll be an interesting room. So, we have Book of the Dead this time. I was thinking Book of the... So, look at the damage. The da Oh. <laughs> Let's see what's in our shop. I'll play this three times. And we'll see what's in our shop. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay, this sh What is the luck on this run? This is insane to me. We have just had an insane amount of luck here. Maybe I'll pick that up in case we really run out of all this money on Squeezy. There we go. Oh <laughs> my god. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and get Cricket's head. Oh my god. D100? No. I'm happy with what I got here. Holy Moses. 
What in God's green earth is this run? This doesn't even feel real. Oh my god! Here's the seed. I honestly think you should play this one if you haven't yet. What are you doing? This this is a free it's a free win. There's there's no doubt in my mind. <sighs> Play-Doh Cookie. Play-Doh Cookie is good when you're back against the wall, just need some DPS, but my back is against no wall. Nice. <laughs> that is the truth. This bozo is going to get deep fried in like seconds. This is good. Alright. Away we go. Holy freaking cow, guys. This run is strong. What are we looking for now? Well, I'm going to try and make it to boss rush. We might actually fight boss rush if I... If I'm being honest. Because we got bloody lusty blood which we had on the last run I believe too so a lot of uh, items are showing up in frequent amounts right now lusty blood cracked orb which you feel like you never see and then all of a sudden I've seen it like two twice or three times in uh, recent memory one more book and we get bookworm that's another thing we're on the lookout for. So, does Crown of Light only work if you're full HP? I honestly can't remember. Another... Play to win machine. Alright. Let's see if we can... Yeah, okay. It does only work if you're at full HP. So our damage is not stupidly overpowered until we kill enemies in a room. As opposed to last time when it was just absolutely ridiculously overpowered. Well, Cracked Orb has shown us the item room. And the shop. Oh, hey little Chad. We'll go in this dice room. I have no intention of D1ing. This run is phenomenal. So we're just going to leave it at that. There we go. Crown of Light. You know, it's actually, it's worth keeping Crown Line because the damage buff with Cricket's head is absolutely insane. Mama Mega. We'll take it. We like Mama Mega. Mama Mega. Mama Mega. Right Ridge is speed, and that's totally fine with me. Let's go. Mama Mega used to look so ugly. Oh my god. They changed it for the better. <clears throat> Thankfully, because holy Moses, she was she was hard to look at. Why do we have such a good deal with the Angel Chance? It's not because of two key pieces, is it really? Let's just go ahead and Mama Mega here. Oh, there's a black card for sale. Oh, just killed my Boneman. So Mama Mega is just gonna kind of make this whole floor a joke, which is good. I'd rather use it now and just start building towards a. Like, just being available for a new space for item if it shows up on this floor. So, I actually don't need to play that sacrifice room. There's pretty much nothing I can really get from it. I'm gonna pick up that key, though. Let's go back. I feel like we're going to the finish of the floor, so let's just... Go. 
Oh, good. Mom Mega actually kills enemies off screen now, even. That's that's pretty powerful. Still not found the secret room. Oh, there's one. Oh. Yeah, let's do red stew. 50 damage. Okay. Holy water, that's wonderful. Second secret room. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm sorry. What? The turret does not count as an enemy in this room, unless I broke it before. Oh. All right. The molding is over. I made a crucial error. Eye drops. Wonderful. Oh! <laughs> Um, Sacred Heart? Hello. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This is insane. This is insane. The Red Stew damage buff is obviously going to go away at some point. I don't know when that is, though. Seraphim? No, we can't fly yet. Alright, an IV bag. IV bag potential there. But no real interest. Oh, another curse of the... Okay. Well, I got options. Well, that's gonna make boss rush pointless. I don't want to take an item from boss rush because it could be bad. Pretty sure I'm in no mood to jeopardize this run. This is insane. I wonder how fast we can finish this one. Probably under 30, right? Probably a sub 30 run if I just stop messing around like right now. Oh yeah, we'll take one more. D1, hey, that's excellent. Let's go. I right, let's let's just speed run. Let's just see if we can speed run this. Let's do it. You're getting immediately later build zone. Yeah. Oh my good god. Is this pole right wonderful? Um I mean I'd really love to uh, uh, uh. Minecrafter. Well this gives us our opportunity to just demolish whatever's left of this core. Could I just use Minecrafter? Yep. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Maybe we'll go to Hush and fight Delirium. How's that sound? <laughs> Come on, you gotta love this. How could he not? This run is just insanely, insanely blessed. Oh, active contrition, I think, is what gives us that high angel chance as well. Completely forgot about that. One shot. Just one. Good god. What do we got? Sissy long legs. Holy moly. What can you, I mean, what can I even say at this point? That has not already been documented. So we want the money because there is a shop on Hush Floor. Oh, I, Rotten Heart is wonderful. These flies are wonderful. Hmm. 
Don't need the spirit heart, we're, we're doing all right. <laughs> okay, we've managed to make it to who I believe must be Fred, because the room is big. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is just disgusting. Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. This, this run is packed with overpowered items. Let's go. Let's go mess with the Hushter. I mean, good lord. How could we not at this point? Curse of the Blind, no. Bad. Oh, Mystery Gift, thank you. Holy God. Leech and belly button. Woo! Number two. Ugh. What was our space bright item again? D1. Alright, Hush, you're about to get, like, absolutely dumpstered. So, I hope you had a nice life. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like that, but that tickled. sense in hiding, my friend. It is not going to get better for you. Oh, good. These enemies juice up uh, Red Stew. Which, I mean, Red Stew has gone sicko mode insane. Like, it's doubled our damage, which, when you're doubling your damage with uh, with 60 base, I mean, that's, that's a quite a noticeable impact. Oh, my God. We could probably farm this bozo for... Like a huge red stew buff if we got him to just keep spawning flies and enemies and stuff. We're just gonna safe spot this. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's go. Let's go just rock Delirium's world. Delirium, you big old butthead. I'm here. I'm your worst nightmare today, my friend. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Hmm. Yeah, number two is just not the best item we could have picked up, but... It's too late to stop us, that is. We've already reached critical mass. <laughs> oh, for hell. Oh, buddy. Razor blade, feel my pain? No, I don't think I will. Paralyzed shot option. I don't understand what's doing that. Oh, duh. It's probably holy water. Isn't it? Because I don't think we have anything that actually paralyzes enemies. Yawn. Oh, my holy card. Oh, <laughs> Loki, my friend. Oh, God. We are just trashing enemies here. There's Delirium. Hey, you big, big old nerd. Oh, we lose Holy Light. Shoot. We should have been a little more careful. Oh 
wall. Homie's just flying. I really appreciate all the teleporting there. Homing is what makes this fight super doable. I mean, come on. He could be like a lot of different places, but homing's not really letting him get anywhere too far. And uh, yeah, 22 minutes to get to Delirium and beat him. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 22, just shy of 22 minutes and 30 seconds. What a freaking run. Holy cow. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. That was a good one. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the, uh, the next one.